all my novels, including Palace Council, have been, uh, you might think of them as whodunits, you might think of them as thrillers, you might think of them as somehow novels of political intrigue. I prefer to think of them as novels about family and connections between people, but I think thriller captures what I'm getting at. It's hard for me to say uh, what leads me in any particular novel to come up with a conspiracy. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't sit around and think that people planned uh, this or that. I think most things that happen that are bad things happen because you live in a complicated world, not because conspirators secretly run things. But in fiction, it's fun if conspirators secretly run things because everybody wants there to be a bad guy. Usually when I sit down to write a novel, I don't have the conspiracy clearly in mind. I have the characters in mind, and I know vaguely what story I want to tell about them. I usually have an outline, but it quickly goes out the window. Uh, as for the conspiracy, the conspiracy for me emerges as I write, as some of the characters become more or less interesting. I will admit there are times in my writing when I'm not exactly sure who the real bad guy is until I'm very close to the end of the book. I like to take common people common in the sense we all know people like them, ordinary people, and set them at the center of extraordinary events and ask myself, how would ordinary people react? How would I react? How would a reader uh, react when suddenly thrust into something we never uh, chose? That's the kind of novel I like to write, and that's what I hope Palace Council is.